good evening to the students of the intellect advanced intellectual property law and you are welcome to the class and uh, this is uh, my second class if i not be mistaken it is sw670 advanced intellectual property law and you have the course objectives the first form is a legal framework but before we could go to the legal framework, we would see the what is the institutional framework and what is the legal framework in the intellectual property concerning the Tanzania is. Then we will see it. As a participants, anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen so that you could know that I am with you and you are with me. I am both traveling in the same boat to reach to the destination. Participants, are you there? Please read. Yes, it is a Tanzania intellectual property institutional framework. The institutional framework, what we are there, we will see the business registrations and licensing agency, that is the Brela. The second one is the Commission for the Science and Technology, COSTEC, Corporate Society of Tanzania, COSTA, Fair Competition, that is the FCC. Fair Competition Tribunal, the FCT, Ministry of Agriculture, Plant Breeder Rights, PBR, Tanzania Bureau of Standards, TBS, Tanzania Food and Drugs Authority, TFDA, Tanzania Revenue Authority, Customs TRA, Commercial Court High Court of Tanzania. This is the institutional framework. And we go further, University of Dar es Salaam, the UDSM. They also work on it, uh, the institutional framework. Um, so, Kenya University of Agriculture, SUA, College of Engineering and Technology, Quiet, Nelson Mandela University of Engineering, Science and Technology, USET, UEST, and uh, Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology, DIT, also work on the international, that is intellectual property in Tanzania regarding the legal institutional framework is concerned. Then the National Institute of Medical Research, NIEMR, Tropical Pest Research Institute, TPRI. Then the last one is, uh, if I not be mistaken, it is uh, TPRI, that is the Tropical Pest Research Institute, that the TPRI is there. So these are all in Tanzania, which works on in intellectual property institutional framework. So. We have to, if the question is asked over there, what are the institutional framework there in Tanzania? At that instance, these are the institutional framework, we have to discuss it. But if they ask the, particularly, what is the role of the TFDA in the institutional framework of the intellectual property, then at the time that you have to write only the Tanzania Food and Drugs Authority, that is the TFDA. So either individually they can ask it or they do ask also a particularly some of them, then you have to give the answer to the question depending upon the marks allotted to it. Is it clear? Participants, is it clear? The next is Tanzania legal framework. What is the Tanzania legal framework could be there? Means uh, enactments, statutes, uh, which are related to the intellectual property in Tanzania. When you see the Tanzania legal framework, one, Patents Registration Act, there is a chapter cap 217, revised edition 2002. Then the second one is Trade Service Marks Act, that is a cap 326 RE, revised edition 2002. Then the third one is Copyright and Neighboring Rights Act, cap 285, Revised edition 2002. Then the fourth one is Fair Competition Act, that is the 8th of the 2003. And the Merchandise Mass Act, that is 1963, revised edition. Of course, I don't know the why the cap is not given here. For other things, the cap is given. And then the Plants Breeder Act, that is 2012. These are the Legal framework means uh, statutes are there which will protect the intellectual property in the different different area, the areas. 
participants are you hearing me please unmute and read what i posted on the screen and then comes the activities in progress what are the activities in tanzania which in progress A review of industrial property legislation aimed to at enact the tanzania industrial property act aip laws that the patent act and the trade and service marks act as considered to be the interwoven with the health related issue of the licenses and other agreements that is a panty and the license dialogue and associate contractual relations so what are the activities in progress in tanzania the first bullet is clearly says anyone can unmute and read the second bullet participants anyone can unmute and read the second bullet general ip awareness creation program that have been conducted including the participation of the exhibitions international trade fairs public service weeks farmer day etc remain not compensate not com commensurate with the prevailing ip conceptual gap in both the public and private sectors respectively so ip these activities are in progress in tanzania connecting intensive ip outreach program is a challenge taking into account the country's dema demographic demographic size over the 9044 square kilometers then the last one is tanzania national intellectual property strategy have been formulated in the in line with the formulation of the national intellectual property policy and the same is in progress at the ministry responsible for the intellectual property matters so these are the activities progress in the ipr in tanzania in addition to that in what are the activities continued it is installed industrial property automation system that is ipas at brela calls for the capacity building as a technical intervention including the training on the vienna classification in respect of the figurative elements that is a substantial examination then another point is transformation of tanzania intellectual property advisory service and information centers that is tipasic into technology and innovation support center that is a tisc and modalities for the implementation in cons cons consultation with the wipo service level agreements hither to in progress so these are all also activities which are in progress in tanzania achievements and expected outcomes are concerned i am giving the birds eye view of the tanzania and ipc and achievements and expected outcomes are concerned there the draft cabinet paper and the proposed industrial property has to be drawn subject to further process processes deal with the ministry responsible for the coordination of the ip matters and the cabinet secretariat the next tribulity is achievement the achievements and expected outcomes in tanzania is formulation of the national intellectual property policy is being coordinated by the ministry of industrial and trade as a focal point in the ip and related matters the stakeholders views comments and the recommendations have been gathered it is zonal level or national wide so this is the also an achievement and expected outcome in tanzania the next third one is few intellectual property awareness program that were uh, conducted created a demand for the intensive and the tailored programs also be there and this is comes also in the achievements and expected outcomes the next bullet is initiative to develop a national branding strategy strategy in progress and the next bullet is study on coffee branding strategy in a progress in collaboration with the wipo that is the tanzania coffee board ministry of agriculture and food security and uh, <clears throat> this is more the coffee which is grown in the moshi area if you are not being mistaken participants can you tell me that where the coffee will be grown more in addition to the moshi please unmute and give me the answer participants sharing the information on the ip pertinent issues in the eac with a vis wto compatibility of the eac trade policy reviews 
in a sense of the EAC, um, offers a, reg a regional forum that may be utilized as a conduit pipe in the cause of the promoting the IP matters. So they do have the achievements with the other organizations of the world to see that uh, the achievement will be more and outcomes should be come out and the IP intellectual act, uh, property um, jurisprudence will be increased. Achievements and expected outcomes uh, in the continuation is extension of time for the compliance with the trips and we will study the trips in detail in the next class or in the coming class. The TRIPS agreement beyond the 2013 has been granted with the WTO, that is the World Trade Organization, TRIPS Council seemingly feasible and possible avenue for the building is sound economic and technological base in LDC, that is the less developing countries or low developing countries, Tanzania in particular. Then the sustainability of implemented projects and performance of related auxiliary activities remain the driving force for the managing the change in the noble cause of economic transformation. So this is also one of the factors where we can make it uh, for the awareness of the IP law in Tanzania. Priorities, what are the priorities needed in Tanzania? That is a bird's eye view of the IP intellectual property law in Tanzania. So priorities are concerned, number one, IP policy, that is intellectual property policy, legal and regulatory framework should be strengthened, number one. Number two, promoting innovations, technological transfers for the time being presumed to a one-way traffic in flow of the property technologies and related creations for the use of the IP as a tool for the development. So development activity should be there and the research should be conducted and the new innovatory in, and uh, very new variety of the even paddy or the uh, coffee seeds would be produced over there so that we could have the trademark and copyright in that aspect of it and the Tanzania can own such rights. IPR administration infrastructure should be strengthened, that the priority should be given. The enforcement and regulatory regime of the IPR, the custom authority, police force, quasi judicial bodies, and court of law, it should be strengthened to see the information enforcement and the regulatory regime for the intellectual property law. So when you go for the next slide, way forward, what would the way forward would be there? What should be done and how it could be? The Tanzania strive to implement the TRIPS agreement upon the attainment of the transformed economy stimulated by meeting her priorities, needs and with the expectation of creating a sustainable technology and a sound economic base. So that priority should be given over there and technology should be developed and innovations could be made, design could be made and that will be protected by the IP law in Tanzania. All, uh, attainment of the improved IP infrastructure countrywide that will act as a catalyst and it will expedite the matter, that's why you can say catalyst to characterize and influence the concrete action in other sectors of the economy. Then the next bullet is ultimate goal of creating an IP-based society coupled with an inbuilt effective management mechanism for the IP assets are so created. Merely creation is not only the one factor but its maintenance and it assess uh, creators should be have a intellectual property right and the country will be protected if so that uh, the other people could not tap it uh, uh, the, the innovations. So these are the few glimpses which I have seen and uh, it is prepared by the Berla person. They say thank you for your attentive minds uh, and that is the end of it. But it is uh, this uh, PPT is prepared by the national, uh, the HO Ngonja. Of course I write to him but the, the email which is given over there is bounced back as a failure delivery. Otherwise they would have to ask him to conduct uh, one of the one or two sessions uh, in the intellectual property, especially pertaining to Breza and what the movement and challenges and achievements and how far they reach the target, it could be known to us. And is the industrial property division, that is a Brela, B-R-E-L-A, and it's uh, given the Brela TZRJ and uh, in addition to that, uh, the 
Kusajili, that is the Bell Tanjana Company organization, the email also given. But this email is, uh, I believe that it's not working or it is the full, perhaps that's why the mail which I sent to him is bounced back a failure mail. So now, when you see the syllabus, see here, I'm showing the course content, legal framework. And we, uh, we already said Tanyana legal framework, we made it here. How many, the acts which are there, which will protect the intellectual property rights and what are the acts are there, I made it clear. But once again, I will show you that uh, legal framework, uh, what are the acts are there. But uh, institutional framework is different from the legal framework. And this is the institutional framework where the bodies are there to see that uh, the awakening and the intellectual property rights will be protected, they will see. But when you see the next slide, that clearly says Tanzania legal framework. But in our syllabus also, it is clearly mentioned that the legal framework of Tanzania especially. But how could you say that it is Tanzania only? Here in the course objective, it is made it very much clear that the main objective of this course is to give the candidate an ability to have a critical appreciation and understanding of the controversies and the new development in the field of the intellectual property. There is none. The next part of the first paragraph is the focus will be on intellectual property in third world countries like Tanzania. So it is clearly mentioned, the focus will be on the intellectual property in third world countries like Tanzania, looking at uh, the, the issue that are a big concern and to such countries and the area that uh, still fail to get the adequate are absolutely in nil intellectual property production. If you say that uh, absolutely in a clear terms, it is a nil intellectual property production would be there. Hence, there is a high demand would be there intellectual property rights would be followed and made in accordance with the international instruments and uh, there would be an institutional framework also to see that uh, the act would be implemented in total. So the first one we can say that the course content is 2.1 is legal framework. In the 2.1 that is a zero bullet is concerned influences of the TRIPS agreement and other institutional agreements on Tanzania's intellectual property law. How the TRIP agreements and other international agreements which are there based on that thing only that we are preparing the TRIPS, not TRIPS agreement is the first where the Tanzania also one of the party and signatory for the TRIPS agreement because it is made by the WTO, the World Trade Organization. So now let us see that uh, how far the TRIPS will make the contribution in the intellectual property especially in the third world countries like Tanzania. So now if you happen to see the another file, it is clearly given over there. Participants, anyone can unmute and read that what I posted on the screen. Participants, anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen. So overview the TRIPS agreement, the TRIPS agreement which came into effect on 1st January 1995. So is so date the most comprehensive multilateral agreement on intellectual property. So TRIPS agreement, then what is the full form of TRIPS? The agreement of the trade relations uh, in intellectual property law, intellectual properties law, or intellectual properties. So it is to date the most comprehensive multilateral agreement uh, on, on the intellectual property. And then we can go the course contents are concerned general provisions of the trips, standard production, copyright, uh, I mean sections, related rights, trademarks, it is one of the component in the IPR, trademarks, geographical indi indications, industrial designs, patents, integrated circuits, undisclosed information, anti-competitive license and enforcement, general obligation, procedures and remedies, provisional measures, border measures, criminal procedures, other provisions, acquiring and maintaining a right and transitional arrangement and last is protecting existing matter. So these are all the will cover under the overview of the TRIPS agreement. That is the TRIPS. The area of the intellectual property that it covers are what is the intellectual property will cover? 
So then the area of the intellectual property, what it covers are copyright and related rights, that is the rights of the performers, producers of a sound, recording and broadcasting organization, and trademarks including the service marks, and geographical indications including the appellations of the origin. The geographical indication generally will say, if it is in India, we can say Kanpur Chapel, means Kanaibili, Kanpur. It is a geographical indication. And uh, what is the geographical indication in the Iringa? And especially when you say the geographical indication is concerned, then you say Nyanya. Because Nyanya will be more grown in the Iringa. Am I right? Participants can unmute and read the party portion on the screen. Anyone? So, that is a geographical indica indication where it is famous regarding the area is concerned with that name that we will make it out. Uh, next comes the, after the copyright and related, even including the producers and sound recording and the broadcasting organization are concerned that will come under the copyright and related rights. And trademarks including the service marks, there is a trademarks and the service marks are there, the branded one. Geographical indicates including the application of the origin where the property actually originated and having the name of the geographical indication. But uh, if you see to say that uh, Hyderabadi Biryani, so Biryani is the place, uh, Biryani is the food uh, and it is one of the preparations which is called Biryani which is famous, geographical indication is concerned, it is Hyderabad. So we can say the Hyderabad Biryani. So origin Appellation of the origin is a more important factor in the geographical indication and industrial designs, yes, designs of uh, chips, other, other machines, whatever it may be that which you are going to be built it over there for the designing would be there, the design should be approved and uh, if once the design is approved and uh, under the patent, under the copyright, no, then no one can steal it, no one can copy it. Of course, one can copy it for only the, not for the commercial use, only for the student use. Patents including the production of the new variety of the plants, the patents should be there, like I told you, Bas Pakistani Basmati rice or Basmati rice. So, the layout designs of the integrated circuits, the many integrated circuits also a new innovations that uh, a copyright uh, act will attract. And undisclosed, and undisclosed information including the trade secrets and the test data. Suppose nobody would give the about his own product, the defective things, and he tried to hide the something which he doesn't want to reveal. In case if it is revealed over there, then the cost which the other party is going to pay will be diminished or reduced down because there will be some deficiency would be there either in the constitution of a or in the preparation of the product is concerned or it's uh, selling the product is concerned or transferring the product. So here they want to say there are the three main features of the agreement are, what are the three main features of the agreement when a person wants to make the agreement with the intellectual property. The standard is a very important factor. In respect of each of the main areas of the intellectual property covered by this TRIPS agreement, the most idea, it will be protected by the TRIPS agreement. The agreement sets out the minimum standards of the production to be provided by, the, each, by each member. Some standards should be provided over there. And each member should have to make it out, those who invented the new product. Each of the main elements of the production is notified. So even the notification also comes over there that he invented so and so thing. Uh, that also comes uh, in the newspaper or social media. So each of the main element uh, of a production is defined, namely the, the subject matter to be protected, the right the right to be conferred and permissible exception to those rights. So once the right is created over there, it will not be diminished unless until the purpose of making it is become a futile. So and the agreement says these standards by the regarding the first that the subs, the substantive obligations of the main conventions of the UNESCO, the WPO, WIPO and the Paris 
Convention for the Protection of the Industrial Property, the Paris Convention and the Bernay Convention for the Protection of the Library and Artistic Work. When you write the copyright, I don't know what you are going to write in the copyright. Participants. They have to make the oath that it is not published anywhere in any form. This is the first time they are approaching it and they are writing it and submitting the UDSM. Such anything should be given by the candidate. So now next is uh, the WTO makes the efforts to see that everything should be passed. Then the Paris Convention with the Protection of Intellectual Property or we can say Paris Convention and that uh, Bernay Convention for the Protection of the Literary and Artistic Work. That's why we could see the LNM and uh, PhD thesis, including the LB thesis, you will find the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> copyright also. A copyright under the copyright of Bernay Convention will be mentioned over there. Works, Bernay Convention in their post uh, recent uh, version must be complied with or with the expectation of the provisions of the Bernay government, uh, sorry, Bernay Conventions on the moral rights. All the main substantial provisions of these uh, conventions, you know, the conventions are incorporated by the referees and thus become an obligation under the TRIPS agreement between the TRIPS members, between the TRIP members, next, and country, member countries. The relevant provisions are to be found in Article 2.1 and Article 9.1 of the TRIPS agreement which are related respectively to the parts connected with the, and to the Bernay Convention. What is con this convention or that con convention says over there? And as I said, the Bernay Convention is copyright uh, convention. Secondly, the TRIPS agreement adds a substantial number of the additional obligations on the matters where the pre-existing conventions are silent. When the pre-existing enactments are silent over there, naturally one should have to follow the, the positive theory that is nothing but a common law theory. So, all matter where the pre-existing conventions are silent or were sent as being inadequate, either silent or seen by inadequate the provision, then the TRIPS agreement is thus sometimes referred to as the Bernay and the Paris plus agreements. So, Bernay Convention is a copyright and the Paris plus agreement is, uh, I believe, other than the copyright. Enforcement. Uh, let me throw light on the enforcement. The second, the second main set of the provisions deals with the domestic procedures and remedies for the enforcement of the intellectual property rights. The agreement lays down certain general principle of the applicable to the IPR enforcement uh, procedures. In addition, it contains the provisions on civil and administrative procedures and remedies and the provisional measures, speci the special requirement uh, related to the border measures and the criminal procedure which is specified in a certain amount of the detail, the problem and there is a remedies that must be available so that the right holder of an effectively can enforce their right. So, what the plea and what the remedy they want, both the things should be very much made it clear, then only it may be, it may be continued. So, that is the point which I want to make it out. At, at any time it will be stopped because there is a low battery is there and uh, it is 13 percent and now I have, it is my glaring mistake that I have forgotten the, uh, the adapter that the charging cable in my office. So, a little electricity would be there in my laptop and with that I am running the show and this class uh, at any time it can stop over there. So, better it could be stopped, better I would like to stop it uh, that what I decided. So, uh, let me read the, this point also. Dispute settlement is concerned. The agreement makes the disputes between the WTO members and about the respect of the trips obligation subject to the WTO uh, uh, dispute settlement procedure. So, it is also very, very much clear that when the dispute comes over there, which law could be applied and which court is having the jurisdiction to entertain such a case that will be specifically mentioned. If nothing would be there, then the automatically, then if the copyright is there, then you will follow the Bernay Conventions.
So that is the idea behind it. Or if there is any treaty, is there either a multilateral treaty or bilateral treaty, or if any legal framework is there, if any party would be there, when the party is from the same country, then the same country, Tanzania, uh, what I say, the acts should be, legal framework should be used over there. With this, I would like to stop it now, because it is at any time it can be stopped. Before it could be stopped, then and today, by unfortunately, by, I told you that I missed my cable wire, so the second class will not be there. In case, in case, I would like to teach, take, okay, let me take today 9.30 of in uh, local time to 10.20 to compensate the second class. Okay, with this I would like to stop today's lecture. Asante Sana for Sikiliza with patience. And now stop sharing and end of the meeting. Goodbye. And Business registration and licensing agents in Black at Blela. Commission for Science and Technology. In the bracket, Kostek said the Copyright Society of Tanzania, COSATA, Fair Competition Commission, Fair Competition Tribunal, Means of Agriculture, in the bracket, Plants, Breeders, and Lights. Then Tanzania Bureau of Standards, TBS, in the bracket, Tanzania Food and the Drug Authority, TFDA, Tanzania Revenue Authority, Custom, in the Black TRA, a Commercial Court, High Court of Tanzania, University of Dar es Salaam, in Black Judaism, Sokoine University of Agriculture, SUA, College of Engineering and Technology, COET, North Man Nelson Mandela, University of Engineering, Science and Technology, and the Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology, DIT. National Institute of Medical Research, Tropical Place Research, Science, Tropical press. So those are all. What those are all? Those are yes. A Tanzania legal framework. It is an institutional framework of uh, Tanzania intellectual property. See the way that you read. The way I am reading. Observe it. Business Registration and the Licensing Agency within parenthesis Brella, Commission for the Science and Technology, COSTEC within parenthesis, Copyright Society of Tanzania within parenthesis COSOTA, Fair Competition Commission, FCC within parenthesis, Fair Competition Tribunal, FCT within parenthesis, Ministry of Agriculture within parenthesis, Plant Breed Rights, PBR, Tanzania Bureau of Standard, TBS, Tanzania Food and Drugs Authority, TFDA, Tanzania Revenue Authority, Custom, TRA within parenthesis, Commercial Quota within parenthesis, High Court of Tanzania, University of Dar es Salaam, within parenthesis, UDSM, Sokoni University Agriculture, SUA, within parenthesis, College of Engineering and Technology, within parenthesis, the COET, Nelson Mandela, University of Engineering and Science and Technology, UESD, within parenthesis, and Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology, within parenthesis, DIT, National Institute of Medical Research, within parenthesis, NIMR, a Tropical Pest Research Institute, within parenthesis, TPRI. And the Tanzania legal framework is Patents Registration Act. What is CAP? What is CIP? CAP. Unmute and give me the answer. Participants. Unmute and give me the answer. If you don't know, it's a pass on. Pardon, pardon, please. Repeat. Passa. Passa. CAP means cap. Cap means chapter. 
Did you got me? Okay. Yes. CAP means cap. Full form of you unmute, you stop your video, otherwise you the the signals are bifurcated. Stop your video. I said stop your video. Signals are bifurcated. You could not hear properly. On your microphone. When you want to speak. Okay. On your microphone or your headphone. When you don't want to speak, then keep quiet. Don't uh, produce the sound. Pemmeni, pemmeni in the adjacent. So now, CAP, it should be a full stop. It's the wrong. Always, yesterday I told you. I don't know whether you are there or not. See here, I, here I am showing you. Cap. It is a abbreviation. But in what type of abbreviation it is? It is actually chapter. It will be written as CAP cap full stop. Could you see the screen? I will highlight it. Could you see the screen now? Yes. Chapter. CAP TER chapter. Shortening is? This is a shortening. It is abbreviation but it is a shortening. And shortening the first letter should be the capital letter, rest of the other letter should be small letter and ends with the full stop. What is the another name for the full stop, synonym for the full stop? What is the synonym for the full stop? If you know it, you tell me. If you don't know it, say pass on. Pass on. The full stop synonym is P I R I O D period. Did you get my point? Yes. Either you can say period or you can say full stop. Could you see it? Say yes. Yes. So how many types of the abbreviation in yes. the last class I told? I don't know whether you are there or not. There are four types of oh. abbreviation I told already. One is initialism. Yes. Another is acronym. Okay. Third one is shortening. Fourth one is contraction. So these are four types of the abbreviations are there. Only Professor Hussein students could know this one. I can challenge you can ask anyone other than who he did not hear me. They cannot give First, they don't know what is abbreviation. Okay, if they know it also, type of abbreviation, only Professor Hussein students will give the answer. One is initialism, second is acronym, third is a shortening, fourth is a contraction. Now you tell me, among the four, cap comes in where? Cap comes in one, cap comes in two, I mean second or third or fourth. If you don't know it, you say pass on, I'll give the answer, don't waste the time. Pass Cap is pronounced as a one word. C A P cap is pronounced as a one word. Actually, Chapter. it is a abbreviation, but it is pronounced as a one word. Hence, it is a acronym. Okay. What about U D S M? You are not present as a one word. Udsum. Do you present as Udsum? University of Dar es Salaam. But you will pronounce as U D S M means separate letters which is pronounced 
at that time you can say it is a initialism is it clear okay what about south initialism or acronym i oh, know i see initialism professor south we are pronouncing as one word south Yes. We are pronouncing okay. one word, South. We are, did not pronounce S-A-U-T. Okay. Then it is called acronym. Then what is February? Suppose February can be written as in this way. F capital letter, E capital letter, B small letter. Of course, F capital, E B, February, it is a shortening. Full form is F E B. R U E R Y February. It is a shortening. What is contraction? C A M apostrophe. This is contraction. The C should be capital letter. A should be small letter. N should be small letter. Later on, what is this? Cannot. Apostrophe. Spelling A P O S T R O P H E apostrophe. It is a contraction. Is it clear? Say yes. Is it clear? Say say yes. No. no. Pass. Pass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know you say pass on. Is it clear means answer is either you say yes or you say no. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because you are beginners, no, you don't know much. Okay, now let us go to the see trade service marks act. That is the cap, C A P cap, full stop should be there, and 326 R E actually R E is a we cannot write R full stop, E full stop, but we can write it. But strictly speaking, R E, revised edition, we should say. Copyright and Neighboring Act, Cap 285, revised edition 2002, and Fair Competition Act, number 8 of the 2003. Where is the cap here? Name is Sahau. <laughs> yes, Sahau. Here given the act number, but he did not give the cap here. Okay, no matter. Merchandise Market Act, Mark, Marx Act, 1963. That is, the cap is not given. Revised edition, 2002. But the Plants Breeders Act, there is no cap. And there is no, of course, year is there, but no RE. Revised edition, perhaps it is came later part. That's why it's not a year. So, these are all the legal framework of Tanzania. Now, if you happen to see the syllabus, I mean course outline, I believe that everybody is having the course outline. Am I right? I believe everybody is having the course outline. Am I right? No, we do not have, Professor. Why you did not inform me? I would have to send you that. Okay. After the class, I will send you this in your group whatsapp it's your humble prayer that will, will help us to have that's that. the reason i told you please i need your group one and each every person email also because some of the files will uh, give you an advance something and you can read and come to the class and make the class as a participatory class rather than the priest class that is a sermon class like father will give the speech and whether you listen it or may not listen it doesn't matter because father will not ask the question to you. Am I right? Sure, Professor. Very good. I appreciate it. appreciate it. So if you see the course objectives, they clearly mention the main objective of this course is to give the candidate an ability. See here, an ability actually give the candidate the ability to have a critical appreciation and understanding of the controversy, a new development in the field of intellectual property. The focus will be on intellectual property in the third, in the third, there should be hyphen, in the third countries like Tanzania. Looking at those issues that are a big concerns of such countries and the areas that still fails to get the adequate or absolutely nil intellectual property protection. 
that means still we are in a tanzania is in nascent stage what stage n a s c e n t nascent nascent means so don't know are you know it are you say person nascent person professor okay okay no matter no matter because everything should not be known Perhaps one should have to make the hard work, then only one could know it. Nascent in the sense, I would like to open the word format file, but I could not see. Let me check it by another way. Yes, Google, I open it. Now I'll share it. Yes, it is buffering. It can be open. Because it takes, a, I think it is a bundle is slow. I mean, signals are slow, it seems. Yeah. So, what is the spelling? N A S C E N T. Nascent. Is it read now? Read. What is given nascent? Nascent. Read. I shared the file. No. Nascent are uh, a special of a process or organization just coming into existence in the beginning to display signs of future potential. The nascent space industry means the beginning, it, it, the, still at the baby stage, still at the birth stage. So if you see the chemistry, chiefly hydrogen freshly generated in a reactive form is called nascent hydrogen, means it just now it come into the existence so that is the actual the meaning that you will take it nascent you can use it but it's a chemistry term but still we can use it in our terminology also because we are at the beginning stage instead of the beginning stage we can say the nascent stage is it clear it's clear yes professor professor hussein students will say nascent that other people says it is a beginning stage it is a Sharabaro language. What language? King Reza Sharabaro language it is. So you look like a Sharabaro, you speak like a Sharabaro, you, you write like a Sharabaro. That is the style. Okay, now the course content is concerned. They say the legal framework. That is influence of the TRIPS agreement and other international agreements on the Tanzanian's intellectual property right. In the first class, at a five o'clock that I taught the, already taught the class, I taught the class up to this extent. Can you tell me what, what is this uh, symbol, sign which I put it over here, here sign. Can you tell me the, what is the sign it is? If you know it, you tell me. If you don't know it, you say pass on. Which are you, Professor? Which I highlighted here on the screen. See, I'm running the cursor. You mean the way the... Uh, okay. I'm running the cursor. Could you see the cursor? I see, Professor, I think it's a star. It is not a star. It's not a new star. It is called... Okay. Asterisk mark, asterisk mark image, asterisk you can say. Did you see now on the screen? Yes. yes. Is it a star? Is it a star? No. It's not no. a star. Say no. Is it a star? It is not a star. It is not a star, Professor. Now I am showing star images. What about this one? It is a star. It is a star. So, yes. you should be very much careful what you are uttering. And you should be very much careful, including the punctuation. 
So star I put it over there. And here I said up to this extent I covered in the 5 o'clock to 5.30. And the dispute settlement. The agreement makes the dispute between the WTO. What is WTO? World Trade Organization. I appreciate. I appreciate. Everybody gave the answer in the chorus wise. But can you tell me in which abbreviation it stands? Number one, number two, number three, number four. Apostrophe. It, it, it in, the, in, in the abbreviation where it stands. Initialism, Professor. It is initialism. The reason is we are pronouncing each word separately. Like here, yes. UDSM, we pronounce separately the word. Yeah, am I right? And here also, WTO, we are separately pronouncing the each word. Tell me about ILO. The same initialism. Now you, I will give the answer. What is trips? Now we are studying the trips. Spelling T R I P S. Trips. In which category it comes under the abbreviation? Trips. Sorry, Professor. Can you light it so that we can see it? See, you have given the example also. <laughs> Why do you take that much okay. time to say? Trips, is, uh, trips under, under the one. Is, uh, uh, that means the trade related intellectual property. I know it. It is a trade relations intellectual property rights. I know it is the full form of it. I said in which category it comes, in, in the abbreviation, which category it comes? It is. It is an acronym, Professor. It is an acronym because we pronounce it as a one word. Can you say T R I P S? No, I did not say. No. I said trips. Any word which is pronounced in a one word with all initialisms without any punctuation, it is an acronym. But if any words with the independently pronounced like WTO, ILO, UDSM, these are all called initialism. CRDB, bank. Where it comes? CRDB Bank, I pronounced C R D B. CRDB Bank is CRDB. It's initialism, Professor. It is an initialism. NBC. The same it is initialism. Initialism. So I believe that now you become a perfect to say which is initialism and which is acronym and which is shortening and which is contraction. Am I right? Yes, Professor. Okay, now let us uh, move further. In addition, the agreement provides for certain basic principles such as a national and most favored nation treatment, which one agreement, trips agreement, and some general rules to ensure that the procedural difficulties in acquiring or maintaining the IPRS, IPRS, it is initialism. Intellectual property rights don't nullify the substantial benefit that should flow from the agreement. Here they have given the explanation to the TRIPS agreement. Under which title? I will show you the title. Here they have given TRIPS agreement. What are the provisions are there in the TRIPS agreement? And TRIPS agreement is thus sometimes referred to as a Bernay and a Paris plus agreement. But there is a Bernay convention is there. The Bernay convention comes under what and where? And what it deals? If you know it, you tell me. If you don't know it, you say pass on. 
Professor, I have not understood the question. Question is, Bernay Convention says about what? Okay. Bernay Conventions, if you happen to, I believe that you, you passed LLB, you wrote the project in your fourth year. Yes. And uh, what did you write on the copyright certificate? Because it's, it's, it, it's a symbol to show that the work is ours. The work is ours, it's not copied from anywhere and under the Copyright Act of the Bernay Conventions, have you never seen such a thing? It is a Bernay Convention says. So here the TRIPS agreement also can have a Paris Place agreement also. And who made this TRIPS agreement? Who made this TRIPS agreement? Because you did not hear the first class. See here. Read. The TRIPS agreement. Read. Okay. The TRIPS agreement which came into effect on 5th 1995 is, is to date the most comprehensive multilateral agreement on intellectual property. It is a product, it is made by the WTO, the World Trade Organization. Okay. It is made. The strips agreement. Why the strip agreement? This area of the intellectual property that it covers are copyrights and related rights, i.e. What is this IE? Example. That is. EG means example. Yes. IE means that is. It is a Latin terminology. Actually, it is called id est. It is called id est. I will show you here so that you can meaning and full form. Did you see it now? Okay. ID it is means the full form is that is. Here it is given. Both are given. You check it. Read. If you are confused about which abbreviation, go ahead. I say read. What is the E used before? How do I use IE and EG? Is a way to remember the differences. If you are confused about which abbreviation to use, associate the I in IE with in other words for EG. Think of E as standing for example, a study of less common term example. Exemply. EG means exemply gratia. IE means it is. Equivalent is that is IE and EG equivalent is for example. Is it clear? Yes. Clear, Can I proceed? Say yes. Yes. Good. Within parentheses, i.e. that is the rights of performers, producer of sound recording and broadcasting organization, these are all come under the copyrights. And trademarks, including services marks, you know trademarks? Trademarks. 
trademarks. You never saw the trademarks. I will show you Indian Tanzania trademarks. I will show you Angalia Sasa. Tanzania trademarks images. Did you see logo? Okay. Tanzania trade portal. And Tanzania. Oh, you said what's wrong? These are all okay. trademarks. United Nations International Trade Center. Logo, logo. Did you see the logos? Yes. Yes. So these logos are trademarks. Even products also. Even products also, the DJ logos are there. Trademark registration is there. And we will make the trademark of, you know, Pepsi, Pepsi, trademark. Yes, we know. We used to drink it. Voda, Voda, Voda. Airtel. So these are all set to be the, see here you could see, Indian, Bitco, Alcom, Mogas, Gold Star, Pepsi, Coca Cola. These are all comes under the okay. trademarks because they are products. No, Gapco, Total. You know Total how it be? Total no. bank, Petrol Bank. So these are all called trademarks. So all products which comes under the trademarks and uh, logos, you know that uh, Toyota logo. Yes. And uh, Mitsubishi. Like yes, yes. These are all the trademarks of a product. So now the trademarks uh, and geographical indications. Geographical indication including the appellation. Geographical indication also there. For instance, Kela Rice. Michele. Kela Kele. Sena. Bukaba Indizi. What is the famous Bukaba Indizi? Gina. It is a trademark, sir. I mean, the geographical names are there. It is famous there. With the geographical name, it will be famous. So, these are all things comes under the TRIPS. So, that we discuss the, trip, the standards of the TRIPS agreement, then enforcement of the TRIPS, then we can say dispute settlement, then we are coming to the Next point, one after another we are coming. So we read uh, this. TRIPS agreement is a minimum standard agreement which allows the members to provide more extensive production for intellectual property if they so wish. Members of the left free to determine the appropriate method for the implementing the provisions of the agreement with their own legal system or practices. So these are all the things will come under the TRIPS agreement. So certain general provisions are, as in the main pre-existing intellectual property conventions, the basic obligation on each member country is to accord the treatment in regard to the production of intellectual property provided for under the agreement to the person, whether Tanzania is a signatory or the member for the TRIPS agreement. Yes, Tanzania is a member of... It is a member yes, of the TRIPS sir. agreement. So, yes. I am giving the overall view of the TRIPS agreement, a board's eye view of the TRIPS agreement here. So, Article 3, 4 and 5 include the fundamental rules on national and most favored nation treatment of the foreign nationals which are common to all categories of intellectual property covered by the agreement. These obligations cover not only the substantive standard of the 
protection, but also matter affecting the availability of the acquisition scope, maintenance and enforcement of the intellectual property rights, as well as those matters affecting the rules of intellectual property rights specifically addressed in the agreement. Why we need it? Tell me. What will happen if we don't have these intellectual property rights or the TRIPS agreement? Suppose if you invent something in Tanzania and if you make the patent of it, depending upon the product that you invented, then you registered with the local bodies, with the region, and nobody would claim, and you have every right to product, I mean, produce it and sell it, the monopoly would be there. Do you know the Copyright Act? In the Copyright Act, you are not yes, supposed to copy the same and change the title. Okay. The reason is you are the, suppose you are writing a thesis or a dissertation or the reports, there you will write. The copyright is between the student and the South. Any information regarding this work could not be taken out without the consent of the authors. The two authors, who one is South, another is the person who wrote it. Okay, one can use certain experts, but it should be acknowledged in the note footnote, otherwise it leads to the plagiarism. Do you know what is plagiarism? Copy and paste. No, oh, yeah. So, Copy and paste is plagiarism. Plagiarism. So, if you are writing any article, if you are writing any research paper, the plagiarism is allowed only up to the, how much do you know the idea? How much plagiarism is be allowed? We, we don't know, Professor. I will show you here. Twenty percent is allowed plagiarism. I kept the file here, but I could not make it out. How much allowed? Twenty percent plagiarism is allowed. More than that, okay. it cannot be allowed. Yeah, yeah. I put the file in different way, different place. It is the. Policy of the South that only 20% will be allowed for the plagiarism. Not more than that. I will check in the file. 20%. Two days international conference mediation. No, this is not that. I will show you the thing. So that it will be as clear as crystal. Yes. Could you read it now? Read. St. Augustine University of Tanzania plagiarism policy. Building the city of God December 2017. Police, police enforcement framework. Name of the police. The name of this police shall be the St. Augustine University of Tanzania plagiarism police. Okay, B. Wrote, wrote the chin, chin. You wrote the, this one. Okay. Here, this, this is more important. Well, from D. Okay. D, for any work which is tested electronically by use of software 
such as Tarnitin. Tarnitin is a, a reliable and genuine plagiarism software. Yes. The acceptable amount of an originality will be 20%. That means similarity is only 20%. Not, not, not the interpretation of any words, the interpretation of any way means that is, is a PG dissertations, PhD thesis, what is this? Where I'm, where I'm moving the cursor? What? I'm moving the cursor. What is this? If you Which don't know, you say I don't know. Or pass on. I am moving the cursor after dissertation. What is this sign and symbol? Did you understand the question symbol. first? Did you see my cursor? You know what is cursor? This is cursor. Okay. This is cursor. Where I am moving the cursor? What is that? Sir, it is a line. If you know it, you tell me. If you don't know, you say pass on. Don't waste the time. Pass on, Professor. You can say it's a slash. You can say it's a stroke. You can say it's a oblique. But Professor Hussain's students never say these three. Professor Hussain students say like a Sharabaro manner. It is called Vargul. V-I-R-G-U-L-E. I repeat, V I R G U L E, Vargul. Vargul means slash. Vargul means slash. If you miss my class, you miss many things. I show the images also to you. Vargul images. And you understand it. See, actually, it is inverted comma, or we can say quotations, double quotation. But when you see the vertical, no, this is not, I will give the meaning of it. So that you could know. What is Vargul? Read. I said read. Uh, Vargul in American English, a short diagonal line in black hash used between two words to show either is applicable in bracket and hash o in bracket in dates or fractions in bracket three hash eight comma to express per feet Vargul second, etc. Or we can say slash also. So, the diagonal line can be pronounced as a slash, S L A S H slash. It can be pronounced as a stroke, S T R O K stroke. It can be also said as the oblique, O B L I Q U E. And Sherabaro style is. Sherabaro style is. Sherabaro style is 
value. I highlighted Sharmaro style is Vagul. Why you are Vagul. taking that much time to you? I highlighted, I said, and I made everything, but still you are taking the more time to fill the blanks. So here, the Rome Convention, this convention, and uh, include the fundamental rules. So what I want to say is the intellectual property will hold the right of a person because of the TRIPS agreement and uh, there is a WIPO also. What is WIPO? Anyone? W? WIPO. Full form is W I P O full form. Read. Where well, the intellectual property organization? Okay. VPO. If you say VPO, it's the acronym. If you say W I P O. It is initialism. It is a specialized agency of the United Nations with 193 member states. So Tanzania also a member in the WPO, Tanzania also a member in the WTO, Tanzania also a member in the TRIPS. Is it clear? It is clear. So, yes. so Professor, I've understood uh, this the word intellectual property organization. Uh, what does it concern us? Yeah, any 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 property like intellectual property, mostly intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Okay. The thing which is used by the mind, the creation, the art, anything which is created, a new thing. Okay. At that instance, we can use this. To protect the pride. You know, empty Arbaini? Yeah, yes. Who got the right patent over Arbaini. the empty Arbaini? Or it Arbaini. What do you say in King Reza? Uh, 43. <laughs> <laughs> Direct translation. <laughs> In tree, tree, arbaini, 40, 40 trees. <laughs> Impi arbaini means it is King Reza, we can say N double E M name tree. What do you say? M double E. N double E M tree because its bark also could be used as a medicine, its fruits also used as a medicine, its roots also used as a medicine, its seeds also used as a medicine, its leaves also used as a medicine. In that way, the 40 diseases are cured with the MTR by name. Azar Directa Indica, it is a botanical name commonly known as Neem. Did you read it? Neem tree, N I M T A W R E, or Indian lilac, or is a tree in the Mohogany family. That is, of course, the botanical genus is there. But the Neem is actually, it is a tree in India mostly famous, but it's a you know who got the, it is a, these are all the neem trees you could see here. Did you see the neem tree now? The leaves, the fruits. So, a neem tree good for what they made it several times. Inflammation, infections, fever, skin diseases and dental disorder and so on so forth. And its neem tree leaves, flowers, seeds, fruits, roots, bark, 
have been used traditionally for the treatment of everything. That's why we will say it is a MTR by name. But who got the okay. patent of the neem tree? Patent, patent of the neem tree. No, it is come from the neem tree patent. Which country got? You know, the most... Several extracts of the neem have recently been patented by the U.S. companies and many farmers are incensed at what they regard as intellectual piracy. The village neem tree has become a symbol of Indian indigenous knowledge and of the resistance against the companies which would expert, expropriate the knowledge for their own profit. So, when you invent a new thing, at that instance you will try to make the patent of it so that you could have every right to sell, market, do, if it is there. Suppose if it is grown in your own country, okay, you can also do it according to you, because you are not taking export from any other country. So, these are all should come on the patents, some comes on the trademarks, some come under the copyright. So, depending upon the nature of the goods are concerned, nature of the work is concerned, nature of the invention is concerned, na nature of the design is concerned, and uh, different, different uh, intellectual property rights are implemented. Is it clear? Yes, clear. Yes. Where these exceptions allow the material progressivity, consequential exceptions, and the treatment, comparison of terms, copyright production in, in excess of the minimum term required, by the TRIPS agreement provided under the Article 7, Para 8 of the Burnne Convention. So, these are all the convention will try to protect the intellectual property right. Certain other limited exception to the MFN obligation. Then what is this MFN? <laughs> MFN treat agreement or MFN treatment. Let us see without making the doubt clearance mfn treatment you can see most favored nation mfn treatment requests members to accord the most favorable tariff and regulatory treatment given to the product of any one member at the time import or export like product all other members that is the bedrock principle of the wto most favored nation Basumati rice. Have you heard Basumati rice? Have you heard Basumati rice? Please speak. Siokimia. No, Professor. Did you eat Basumati rice? Sir, first we don't know what no, is Basmati rice. <laughs> Michele. Okay. Basmati rice, did you see it? Yes. How it looks? This personal slice is not a Tanzanian one. So, you, Basmati rice you did not see any time live. Here I am showing you live Basmati rice to you. Did you see now? Read. Read. It is Basmat lies. <laughs> Only one is there, Basmati rice. <laughs> <laughs> it is written Gautam eleven twenty one Stella Indian eleven twenty one Stella Basmati rice. Now they are numbered Basmati rice. This numbered Basmati rice is Indian Basmati rice. But actually, Basmati rice is Pakistani. 
Okay. Indian has made only for three varieties basmati rice. And the one variety which I have shown is that is basmati rice. It is uh, patented to India. Only three varieties. Three or four varieties of rice. But other rice is Pakistani. So this is the Pasmat rice we can make it see, see here or you can see here also. See when I used my video what happened now most of the signals will be transferred to the video and then you cannot understand the audio very well. And now because to show the Live, I want to make it out. That's why I have shown it. Now I can close it. Because it's buffering. The Indian subcontinent has been known for the most picture skew rice fields. Basmati describes a variety of aromatic long slender rice grains. So only three varieties are given under it because it is said Article 22 to 24 of the Part 2, Section 3 of the TRIPS prescribed minimum standard of, of production to the geographical indications and WTO members must provide falsification of uh, GI will carry out the personally with the imprisonment. So now it is a production is given. Of course, sometimes geographical indication of goods also there and we'll say Pakistani Basmati rice because it is grown over there, harvested over there. There is a geographical indication. Like we can say Kela rice in Tanzania and coffee from Moshi. Are you following me? Are you following me? Yes, we are following, Professor. Yes. And uh, yes. Daga of Daga, Daga of Monza. Soma. <laughs> and uh, what about Bukova? Bukova. Sanene. Yes, Sanene. Why you are not giving the answer to my question? <laughs> so these are geographical indications will be there where it will be noted by the place name. It will be noted by the place name. So such indications are there. And again, the TRIPS agreement make the many other things, like these are all the TRIPS agreements. Substantive standard of production. Substantive standard of production during the Uruguay round negotiations, it was recognized that the Burnet Convention already for the most part provided the adequate basic standard of the copyright production. I told you Burnet Convention is regarding the copyright production. Thus it has agreed that the Point of departure should be the existing level of the production under the latest act, the Parts Act, the Paris Act of 1971. We will also say the Paris Act, that of the Convention. The point departure is expressed in the Article 19, para 1, under the which the members are obliged to comply with the substantive provision of the Parts Paris Act 1971, the Burnet Convention, Article 1 through 21 of the Burnet Convention 1971, and the appendix thereto. But what I want to say is copyright is there, geographical indication is there, trademark is there, patent is there. And what other? What other things will come under the intellectual property? I will show you here. So Basmati rice is only three types of variety will be given to the Indian, but the other is Pakistani Basmati rice. Is it clear? Now yes. I'll show you how many marks or patents come under the intellectual property rights. You will show it. What is intellectual property? If you just ask If you say that uh, 
Yes, now you read. What is intellectual property? Read. Intellectual property refers to creation of the mind, such as invention, literary and artistic work, designs and symbols, names and image used in commerce. Yes. IP, intellectual property, and what type of the bracket it is, I told you already. There are four types of the brackets are there. What type of the bracket it is, where the cursor I am moving. If you don't know, you say pass on. I will give the answer. Don't waste the time. Pardon? What type of the bracket it is? What kind of the bracket it is? What is the name of the bracket it is? How many brackets you know it? If you don't know, say pass on. Don't kill the time. Pass on. This is called circular bracket. And this is called what? circular, circular bracket. Can I write it? I will show you here. This bracket is called circular bracket or round bracket and Sharabara style is parenthesis parenthesis moja one is it is Parent, parent, sis. And two is parent, sis. Means one is singular and two is plural. So what do you say? Sherbaro style is? Sema? Parent, sis. P A. See, I will show you. P A R A N T H A C S yes, images. See. Did you see now the type of the brackets here? Yes. See, this is called flower bracket or we can say curve bracket. And this is parenthesis or circular bracket or round bracket. What about this one? Cursor we am showing. Say pass on if you don't know. Pass on. Square bracket. And this is where I am cursor showing. Say pass on if you don't know. Pass a professor. Angle bracket. Angle, angle, I will show you. A N G L E angle bracket images. Did you see here? Cursor I am moving. Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Which one? No, no, professor. Not cursor, you did not see the cursor here, which I am moving here, cursor. It's Bembeni. You tell me if you don't uh, remember it. Uh, uh, now you could see it. Cursor, I am moving. Did you see it? Okay. And what okay? okay. We are, we you see we means yes, sir. I saw it. You tell me. Yes, we see. It. Yeah, that is called angle bracket. Suppose if you don't know, you did not see, then you can ask me that I can show you. But here all type of the brackets are given here. Sema, Kwanza, number one. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. 
Pondok. Sema. Cursor which I am moving here. I already told you square bracket. Second one. Okay. Flower bracket or a cup mm -hmm. bracket. This one round bracket or circle bracket or parenthesis. This one. This one, this one are the, both the same. Same man. Uh -huh. I just now I told you and you could forget it. Angle bracket. A-N-G-L-E. Angle bracket. Is it clear? Yes. So now next time when I ask you, you should not keep the blank face. So what are the things comes under the intellectual property? Just before you read it. What are the things coming under the intellectual property? Intellectual property refers to the creation of the mind. Such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs, symbols, names and images used in the commerce means trade. So uh, IP is protected is in law by for example patent, copyright and trademarks even including the geographical indications which enable the people to earn the recognition or financial benefit from what they invent or create. By stri striking the right balance between the interest of innovations and the wider public interest, the IP systems aims to foster an environment in which creativity and innovations can flourish. A person who invented and he will enjoy the benefit of it. Am I right? Yes. Do you know the copyright logo? Symbol. Here I am moving the cursor. These are copyrights. And these are the patents. If a new invention is there, their microchip is there, or any antenna is there, they are all the patents. And here are the trademarks. See, this is the copyright. A copyright is a legal. A copyright is a legal term used to describe the rights and creators have over their literary and artistic works. Like the books, designs, cartoons, graphs, and works covered by the copyright range from the books, music, printing, sculptures, films, the computer programs, database, advertisements, maps, and technical drawings. These are all comes under the? These are all comes under the? These are all comes under the? Please fill up the blanks. These are all comes under the? Copyright. Say, speak, Timothy Chikoti. Yes. Why don't you speak? So what comes under the copyright? Now tell me. Pardon, please. What are the things coming under the copyright? Uh, are the way concerns uh, poems, novel, films, music, music, painting, sculptures, sculptures, films, 
computer program, database, advertisements, cartoons, maps, technical drawings. These are all come under the? Yes. These are all come under the? These are all come under the? Fill up the blanks. Please. <laughs> These are all comes comes under the copyright. Say copyright. Which comes under the copyrights? Just now we referred. Read patents. Patents is an exclusive right granted for an invention. Generally speaking, a patent provides the patent owner with the right to decide how or whether the invention can be used by others. In exchange for the right, the patent owner makes technical information about the invention publicly available in the published patent documents. So those are called patents. So patents provides a owner with the right to decide a new invention which is made it over there. At the time, they will patent it and nobody could use it and he has the exclusively right to sell the patent. And trademarks is a sign capable of distinguishing the goods and services of one enterprise from those of other enterprises. Trademarks date back to the ancient times when artisans used to put their signature or mark on their product. So trademarks are like that. And these are industrial designs and the geographical indications and the trade secrets here you could see and the training from the IP basic to specialized skills WPIPO and the trips again the WTO plays an important role in making the all these intellectual inventions and product so even industrial design also comes the ornamental or aesthetic aspect of the article. A design may consist of the three-dimensional features such as the shape or surface of an article or two-dimensional features such as the patterns, lines and colors. So those are industrial designs. When you come to the geographical indications are concerned, and the appellations of the origin and sign used in the goods that have a specific geographical origin and possess qualities and reputation and characteristics that are essentially attribute to that place of the origin. Most commonly, geographical indication includes the name of the place of the origin of the goods. Karosho. What is the geographical name? From where it is the product comes? Karosha Tokawa P. Please speak. Timothy. Sir. I say speak. Karosha. Pardon, I don't understand the question, please. Karosha. From Twala. Karosha is from Twala. Why you are taking that much time to say? Sanene. Bukoba. What about Moshi? What about Moshi? Moshi is Kahawa. It is a coffee beans. So 
So, those are all the geographical indications and trade secrets. Trade secrets are the IP rights or confidential information which may be sold or licensed. The unauthorized acquisition, use or disclose of such a secret information in a manner contrary to the honest commercial practices by others is regarded as an unfair practice and violation of the trade secret production. So, if a soda, Coca-Cola, what would be the cons contents in it? What is the formula? Nobody knows because Sikhli zamimi darasa asante sana na shukru sana mungu wakubari kena kukulinda.